have guests on our show that will get us motivated for this year. Anna Maria Cruz is a holistic health coach who helps busy women reach their ideal weight, discover nourishing foods, and craft a blissful lifestyle that they love. They own uh, their, her own transformational experience in wellness while working at, in Vietnam, rather, inspired her to pursue a career empowering others, which led her to the Institute of Integrative Nutrition. She offers online programs, group, and individual coaching based on her customers' needs. Anna Marie, she's here back on Kabobine today. <laughs> Hi. Hi. I can't believe it's been a year. Right? Yeah, right? since you were here. It's um, It's been a great year. Um, and it's been a busy year, but mm -hmm. it's been, um, it's wonderful to be back. Thank you for having me here again. <laughs> wonderful. Well, a lot has happened to you in this past year. Let's talk about that. Mm -hmm. um, I know you got to go to the Philippines for this amazing program through the embassy. Yes. Uh, tell us about that. Yes. Yeah, so um, I got to go to um, the Philippines with nine other uh, delegates um, across the country and through a program called the Phil Filipino American Youth Leadership Program or PhilPro. Mm -hmm. And it's a program that was um, crafted by Ambassador Quija and his wife. Um, they had been going to all these, you know, meetings with um, with the Philam community and realized that, you know, they looked around and they didn't see the younger Philams. Mm. And so they really wanted um, wanted us to be engaged. And so this is the fourth year that they've been offering it. And it's such an amazing immersive program. Um, we got to go to the Philippines uh, for uh, eight days, um, got to meet a lot of uh, awesome leaders in business and politics, got to meet um, Senator Bam Aquino. Um, I was hoping to meet Pia Cayetano, but maybe for another time. Um, got to, um, yeah, participate in all these amazing activities and um, uh, met social entrepreneurs mm -hmm. who were doing good in the Philippines and also, um, you know, creating a, a business that um, that benefits people all over. So, was great. So very busy. I'm sure yes. it was a transformative journey back to the homeland, right? Of course. Um, yes. But you're here today to share with us tips on yes. how to optimize our life, yes. right? Yes. So uh, let's start off. Yes. Um, Overall well-being, what does that mean? Is it just uh, physical? Is it mental? Is it everything? Mm -hmm. Let's talk about well-being, that word. Yes. What does that encompass? Yes. Um, so in my practice, um, it is really about a holistic approach to wellness, and that encompasses well-being, meaning it's not just about um, your physical health per se. It's not just about working out and eating right. It's about all these other things that we kind of leave out of the equation but mm -hmm. are really interconnected with health and well-being. So I like to talk about this uh, framework of primary foods and secondary foods. Mm -hmm. And I think a lot of people would guess, oh, primary foods means, you know, my proteins, my carbs, etc. But really it's, it's these other things, like I said, we typically um, ignore. So in your primary foods, these are the things that really truly nourish you at a soul level. Mm. You know, so it's your career, having a fulfilling career that you know you're meant to do. Right. Right. That you know that there is something very special that you are giving to the world through that fulfilling career. It's about your spirituality, and spirituality isn't just religion. Although, I, you know, we we are raised as um, I think uh, pious Catholics, right? Mm -hmm. But spirituality is is part of that. Um, it's also being one with nature. Mm -hmm. It's being one with yourself. It's having that quiet time and space to just. Um, really, truly spend that time with yourself to listen within and mm -hmm. to dig within. Um, and then it's, of course, your finances. If people are, are stressed out over their finances, they're probably not feeling well, right? Right, but Anna, who's not stressed out about finances? Aren't we all stressed out about finances? It, it's it's being able to look beyond that, that hindi lang perang importante, di ba? Yes, right. yes. Okay, so we have the holistic approach, and mm -hmm. then uh, what is the other thing that we're looking for? Um, you you so, talk about um, everything being secondary, yes. right? So that's the primary, mm -hmm. primary foods. Your secondary foods then go into food, actual food, and also your... Um, uh, uh, the recognition that food is not always, you know, the same for everybody. So um, when I say that, I mean that my diet may not be the same as yours. So it's this notion of bio-individuality, meaning mm -hmm. that certain foods are good for certain people. So how do you discover what those foods are? Is it just a trial and error? Or? Absolutely. I see. Absolutely. Okay. Um, uh, and, and to really like write down how you're feeling when you ate 
X as opposed to Y, right? But you say that wellness is a process. It's not an event. Yes. Uh, what does that mean? Yes. It means that even today, after I've gone through that, you know, transformational experience, you know, three years later, I'm still in this journey. I'm still discovering, you know, things about myself, and I'm also still thinking about balance. Balance. Okay, so right. this this is a lifelong pursuit, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. Wellness doesn't just, um, it's not about just 2016. Yes. It's our entire lifespan, okay? Yes. When we return, on Kababayan today, kasama pa natin si Anna Marie. Don't go away. We'll be right back.